Hey Gemini, thanks for visiting. Uh, this is your reading for uh, December the 31st to January the 6th. And as I always ask you nicely, hopefully, if you like this reading, please like or subscribe or leave a comment if you would like to. I'm going to get straight on to your reading right now, Gemini. So the first card you have for your past is the Seven of Wands. So yeah, I'm seeing a bit of a battle actually, a kind of battle against some kind of faceless people. So it might be that, you know, I think you might have felt as if you were up against some kind of um, system or bureaucracy or something like that. Bureaucracy, I was trying to say, bureaucracy, I don't know what I said. What did I say? Bureaucracy. <laughs> bureaucracy. And um, horrible bureaucracy. I can't stand bureaucracy. Uh, and yeah, this could have been something maybe around money. Um, I think you might have been battling to get something that you're entitled to or maybe you were battling to um, trying to get some kind of refund that was owed to you or something like that or something around money I think and I'm seeing you know I'm, I'm feeling a lot of frustration around this because I think you were kind of you might have been on the phone waiting on hold for people being passed around or oh, put you through to this person and I'll or put you through to that one and and press one for this and press two for this and press ten for this whatever rubbish or you might have been sending emails and not getting any useful replies kind of going round and round in circles and this is like a faceless system that you're kind of trying to battle you might have struggled to even speak to a person it might have been like that you might have been on this automatic kind of um, you know record pre-recorded system or something and um, you know, if you look at the man on this card, he's battling, but we can't see who he's battling. We can't see the people on the other end of these wands. So it's kind of a faceless system. So if this resonates and you're still going through this, I hope you're not. But if you are, um, I'm just seeing there might be some missing information. Have all of the information you need in front of you. I know that sounds really obvious and it's probably annoying you even more. But um, I think there might be one or two small things that maybe you might have left out or forgotten. Or um, I'm just seeing a couple of little things that might make a difference if you have them in front of you. Um, yeah, this might sound a bit strange, but I'm seeing some kind of uh, code or password or something like that that you might have lost or forgotten. And um, yeah, I think there might be somewhere... I think these things might be in an email actually. Have a look through your old emails. You might find this old password or code in there. It might be in an email title or it might be somewhere um, on a phone or a laptop in some emails. Um, I know that sounds a bit strange. I just hope that helps someone because there, there is a missing password or code that you need to be able to open up some kind of system and you're going round and round in circles trying to kind of do that. That's what I'm seeing. Uh, the next card you have your past is the Eight of Pentacles. So yes, again, going around and round in circles. You're working really, really hard. You're trying to get this thing over and done with, out of the way. And um, I think once you find what this missing piece is, this missing puzzle piece, I think things are going to happen a lot faster for you. Uh, you won't be frustratingly kind of repeating the same process over and over again. Like the man on this card, he's kind of making the same coin over and over again. And I'm also seeing that there's someone, there might have been someone in your life who maybe they weren't giving you the attention that you needed or maybe you're actually waiting for them to contact you. Now I think... Uh, I think you're trying, I don't think you're wait. actually I don't think you're waiting for them to contact you. I think what happened was, what was happening was you were missing this person. I think you uh, were thinking about them over and over and over again. You really did miss this person. I think, I don't think, I think you thought they weren't going to contact you maybe at this time. You might have been trying not to think about this person. But I think maybe you couldn't help but think about this person. It's like they were going around and around and around your head in a loop. Like this man is working on this coin over and over again. Like it's on a big conveyor belt and it goes up and around and back again. And he does the same thing over and over and over again. And also this is the eight. This is the eight of pentacles. And the eights are infinity symbols. So this 
they, they were going around in your head, this person, and you were saying, I don't want to think about them, get them out of my head. Like a song you don't want in your head, and it's still going around in your head. And you're like, no, I don't want to think about them. But they kind of pop back in your head. So, you know, if this is all resonating with you, they probably are still in your head um, because of this infinity. So, um, you know, I wish I could tell you what to do to get them out of your mind. Um, I can't quite see whether deep down, even uh, maybe subconsciously, you might have actually wanted them in your mind. Don't be angry with me. Sometimes someone's head is saying, get them out of my mind, but their heart is saying, or their subconscious is saying, no, I still kind of miss them. I don't want to miss see, I miss seeing them. And this is the only way I can actually see them. So sometimes that can happen. Even if you, your head saying to you, I don't want them in my mind, I don't want them in my mind. Your subconscious and your heart can be saying, actually really I do miss them and I, I, and I can't see them. So this is the way I can see them, the only way I can. It might be that. And yeah, you're probably still thinking about them again because um, you've got the uh, infinity symbol. And again, I'm seeing this on the magician card again. This infinity symbol is above this magician's head. So they're going around in a loop or in your head. I'm seeing that again in this card. So again, um, yeah, the other thing I'm seeing here is that um, I think there are a lot of things that you wanted to manifest. I'm seeing money again, so I'm seeing there was a money goal that you were trying to uh, manifest. And uh, I think there were things that you needed to get out of your head before you were able to achieve what you wanted and manifest this. So um, one of the things you wanted to get out of your head was this person. The other thing you want to get out of your head was this great big bureaucracy or this big problem you had. Now you might have been dealing with a bank. It might be that, I don't know, but uh, that just came into my head. Um, but yeah, you need to get all of this out of your head because the magician needs a clear head. He needs to be able to concentrate on what he's doing and you couldn't concentrate on what you're trying to manifest with all of this other stuff in you in your head. Um, but you'll be able to do this. You have the magician. The magician shows me that you can manifest whatever you want. So you will be able to do this, but it might take time because you might have to get this other stuff out of your head first to concentrate. Um, so yeah, you are going to be able to remove these obstacles. And um, I think this money goal that you're trying to manifest might come to you from a few different areas. It won't just come from one area. I don't think you're going to have one great big windfall or whatever. Um, I think this is going to come to you over time, probably over 2019, um, in from different places. You might have different income streams. You might have... Uh, your work, you might have money come in from something else, you might have it coming you in, coming in from someone else. Uh, and the other thing I'm seeing is that you're going to be in a be better position to be able to save more. So you're going to save money in that way as well. And you're going to build up your money by saving as well. That's another way. So I'm seeing a few different ways that this is going to come in for you. So the first card you have for your present is the Hermit. Um, so yes, again, getting your head clear, clearing these two things out of your head before you're able to manifest. So um, yeah, I think you're just going to have to take a step back. You're going to have to rest on this, clear your head of this. You might have to meditate do whatever you can. And I know sometimes saying that it's very annoying, meditating and all of these things are the last thing you probably want to do when you're trying to kind of battle and get this thing done. Um, but um, I think sometimes when we rest our minds, this is when the most interesting ideas come to help us to kind of be able to solve things. They can come in. Maybe if you rest your mind, this code or this thing's going to come in maybe different ideas to get this person out of your head might come into your mind. Um, so sometimes when we're resting, these things can come in when, the, when we're the most relaxed. Um, and um, it just makes me think of, I actually had a boss once who uh, used to go into the office kitchen and do the dishes um, in the sink by hand. Now, obviously he didn't have to do the dishes, he was the boss but he enjoyed doing something practical and um, without having to think. And um, 
people used to come in and say, why are you doing the dishes? You don't have to do the dishes. We've got a dishwasher and also, you know, why are you doing the dishes? And he used to say, he was, a, quite, he was like a director. He was quite up high in the company and he used to do the dishes. And he'd say to people, you know, I solve a lot of problems in my head when I do the dishes. Um, I have, this is when I have ideas coming into my head. This is when I solve a lot of problems I can't solve anywhere else. Because when I'm doing these repetitive things without having to actually think, this is when these ideas come into my head. So, and I can solve the problems that have been kind of bothering me for a long time. Um, I'm not saying that you have to do the dishes, but you know, if you want to do the dishes, you can do the dishes. You can come to my place and do the dishes if you want to. But what I'm saying is you might have to do something like meditate, um, if you can't do that, you might have to do something repetitive like sweeping or washing something or something like that. Sometimes that can help. Have a shower. Sometimes ideas come to you in the shower. Um, when you're relaxed, um, that's when these uh, helpful ideas or things that can help you work through these problems can come into your head. I'm repeating myself, I know. So the next card you have for your present is the Four of Pentacles. So again, I'm seeing money in this card. There's money all over this reading. And I don't mean for this to be a money reading, but this is what I keep on seeing, money all the time. So um, yeah, I think you are going to be saving now, and especially in 2019, you're going to be doing a lot of saving as well as some money coming in for you. Just be careful that you're not going to be overly saving or overly holding onto your money like this man in this card. Um, I'm not saying you're going to be stingy, but, you know, holding on uh, to everything that you possibly can uh, might give you that kind of um, I don't have enough feeling. And if you get that I don't have enough feeling, that's going to really uh, be counterproductive to you manifesting money. So just be a little bit careful about that. Don't be holding on, oh, I have to hold on to my money, I can't spend it. Don't be like that. Of course, save where you have to, but be a little bit have some fun with it as well. Don't be so mean that you kind of have that kind of mindset. Um, I, I'm not, again, I'm not calling you mean, but just that's just something to keep in mind when you're saving. Um, and uh, yeah, the other thing I'm seeing is that um, I think you might be trying to get closure with this love connection because you're covering your heart from any other connections that might be coming in. Um, I don't know how you're going to do that. I, for me, you might be tempted to talk to them. You might be tempted to kind of call them and get closure or something or text them. I would advise you not to do that. Um, I think that might make things worse for you. Um, you're trying not to think about them. I know that. But then there's a part of you that can't stop thinking about them. I'm seeing that. But I really think you should not contact them because I think if you do that, it might set you back again and you might be hurt all over again. So I'm really sorry to say this to you. If you can't get this person out of your head, try doing what I said in the Hermit card. Try all these other things. I know you've tried everything. I know that. And this is very hard for you. But um, I think if you have the Magician card, and this person in your head is a roadblock to achieving um, this thing you want to manifest, I think sooner or later you are going to get over this. It is going to come out of your head one way or another because you have the magician and you are going to manifest this thing. And to manifest this thing, you have to get this person out of your head, if that makes sense. And so you will do that. You will do that eventually. So. I would advise against contacting them. That's what I'm seeing there. The next card you have for your present is the King of Wands. So yes, yeah, someone else might be around you actually. They might even be pursuing you uh, for love and you might even be talking to this person, um, but a little bit half-heartedly really, because again, I'm seeing you have your heart covered, you have your walls up, your mind still uh, stressed out with this other person. You don't want this other person back, but they're still there in your head. That's what I keep on seeing. Um, and this person in the King of Wands 
might be feeling quite passionate towards you. Uh, I think they might be following your lead though. I don't think they're actually coming full force ahead towards you. Um, I think they want to connect with you, but uh, I think they might be picking up on your closed off energy. So you don't mean to be closed off with them or anyone else, but you are really closed off on everyone because you have the Hermit and you have the Four of Pentacles. So you're very closed off um, to a lot of people at this time. So I think they're picking up on that, they're hesitating, they're not coming close to you. And um, like this king, if you look at him, he's on the edge of this, his seat, he wants to move, but he isn't doing that. He's kind of just sitting back and thinking before he does that. So this person, uh, I don't, I think they're going to keep on holding back until you actually give them a signal that you want them to come to you. Um, I can't see whether you're going to eventually do that or not, or whether this person is going to drift away and after giving up on you, I don't know, they might do that. But whatever happens, you are not ready. You're not ready for anyone at this time anyway, because you still have this person going around in your head. If this is resonating, that's what I'm seeing. So the first card you have for your future is the Empress. So um, yeah, I think this person in the King of Wands, I don't think they're going to be the only person who wants to be around you. I think someone might be asking for your advice at this time. They might just be needing comfort from you. I think this might be someone who might be a friend actually, and they want you to, um, I think they just want you to listen to them. And I think you're going to be able to do that. This is a person who's going through, through some real problems. They might be going through a breakup. This might be a similar thing that what you went through with this person. And I think you're in the perfect place to listen to them and advise them and just be kind and just be there for them. Like this Empress is so kind and nurturing. And I think that might be um, how you're going to be around this person. And again, they trust you um, and they know that you're going to be very kind toward them. That's what I'm seeing. Now, the other thing I'm seeing in this card is that the Empress is a mother, obviously. She's kind of the ultimate mother, really. She's nurturing, she's loving, she's caring. Sometimes this card can be about birth announcements or giving birth, but I think this might be about you giving birth to some new ideas that are going to help you financially. This is when some of these ideas are going to come into your head. Uh, these are about money, making money, saving money, different things like that they're going to be really helpful for you. So when these ideas come in, make a note of them all. And um, again, I'm seeing things coming in gradually for you, um, but um, be patient uh, like this beautiful Empress. She's just sitting there very patiently. She's not moving. She's very comfortable. So don't worry about these things coming in slowly. They are going to come in at the right time for you. And I think they are coming at, coming in, this money and these ideas and everything else are coming in slowly throughout the year. That's what I'm seeing again. So the next card you have for your future is the sun. Again, this is going to come in, the ideas, the abundance, the money, it's going to come in. So don't doubt that. When it happens slowly, don't start doubting. It's going to come in. You have the magician, you have the empress and you have the sun. What more could you want? You've got all these three fantastic cards. Um, and there's money all over this reading, of course, as well. So it is going to come in. Try not to stress about this. I know it's not easy when you're waiting for something to come in. Relax as much as you can, like the Empress, like these people in the Sun card. They're so happy and relaxed. Try to rest, relax, and just let it come. Let it come. Keep an open mind. Be open and receptive to this, the ideas and the things that are going to come in to you. Um, and um, okay, I'm seeing another thing in this. Um, this might sound a bit strange and um, I don't want to make anyone upset or worried. Um, I'm seeing a father or a father figure in this card. Again, I don't want to upset anyone. Uh, they might not be on this earth, this person. This is someone who you had a bit of, you might have had a bit of an up and down relationship with. Uh, there were fights, there were arguments between you. 
There might have been times when you weren't talking to one another actually, uh, but just know that all of these times when you weren't talking, um, they loved you all of this time. There was a time when they weren't able to say this to you for some reason, I don't know why that is. Um, but look at this card. This is how they feel toward you. Warmth, I'm getting this feeling of warmth. Um, that's what I'm feeling very strongly, warmth, the sun. Just like, um, this is what this person wants you to feel. Just imagine you're sitting in the sun and you have the sun shining on your back and you shut your eyes and you feel the beautiful warmth all over you. That's the feeling this person wants you to feel. They are feeling that. They want you to feel the same thing. They want you to know that they want to give you that warmth and that love. That's what I'm seeing there. Again, this is not going to resonate with everyone. Um, but I had to say that. So, right, the last card you have for your future is the horrible old tower. But in this case, I don't think it's going to be horrible. Now, it's not going to feel great for you. Of course, it's the tower. But it, this is going to be the right thing for you. So I'm seeing uh, this is going to come to light. Something's going to come to light. Um, and light is going to be shed on something. Um, this is going to be a shock to you when you find out what this is, but this is going to be a good shock to you. This is a, going to be a shock that you need to hear. It's going to be very good for you. Um, I think something's going to come to light about this person who is in a loop in your head. They probably still are in your head. This is about something they did when you were around them or they were around you or whatever, you were still with them. I am actually seeing that this person could be denying whatever this big thing is. Not to you because I'm not seeing they're around you, but to other people. They're actually denying this or they're going to be denying this to their family. They're going to have, I'm actually seeing their mother saying to them, is this really true? And they say, no, no, it's not, it's not, but they're lying. This is true and you're going to find out this the evidence is going to be obvious to everyone. They're not going to be able to hide or lie around whatever this is. Now you might found, find out about this outside of them, I think you probably are, because I'm not seeing them contacting you and I'm not seeing you contacting them and I really hope you didn't contact them um, from what I've seen in the Four of Pentacles. I really hope you didn't. Um, yes, I think you're going to find out about this from another person or you're going to hear about this on social media or something like that. It's not going to come directly from them. When you hurt this, this is going to, when you hurt this, when you hear this, this is going to hurt you um, because um, it's going to really, it's going to really make you think, you know, when I was with them, were they telling the truth then? Was this anything that I had with them? Was it all nothing? It's going to really make you start to question but this is going to be a good process for you because you're going to be questioning, you're going to be angry, you're going to be upset, then you're going to get over it, you're going to get over them, this loop is going to get out of your head and then you're going to rise up out of this tower and you're going to move forward and that is when these things are going to manifest for you, the money, everything else is going to come in and come into your life and things are going to start working again for you and turning around in the right direction. That is what I am seeing. So Gemini, I hope uh, this resonated with you. As you know, general readings can't always resonate with everyone. But again, um, if you liked this reading, uh, please like, please subscribe or leave a comment if you'd like to. Thank you so, so, so much for watching.